Right, we're going to start a new topic. I'm going to be doing about measurements now. And this is just going to be an introduction. This is basically very basic stuff, which you might already know. This is basically just a review, maybe, so if you could say of what you've already learned, already know about measurements. So, basically we've got a few different types of measurements and for this video we're going to deal with length, capacity and weight. You could call it mass. Yeah, actually two different things but this isn't about physics so I'm not going to get into the detail of that. And in this video we're going to learn about what's the met called the metric system of units which are the newer ones where we're mostly just dealing with tens and hundreds and thousands which makes them um, converting and everything a lot easier but there's also the older system of numbers which is Measurements, which is actually, why do not fall? Act, which is actually harder to change numbers. It requires more thinking and stuff. It's just not really quite as good as the new system. And. He has with different types of measurements that we use. For length we use millimetres, centimetres, metres and kilometres. For capacity we use litres, centiliters and millilitres. And for weight we use tonnes, kilograms, grams and milligrams. So, those are basically different units that we use for these different um, types of measurements and we're also going to be doing a lot about time later on in this um, part of the course and later on we'll learn about new measurements which actually come from kind of similar things to this which will be called areas and volumes just mention what's coming later in the course so that you know and because basically it's just very simple so I have to try and make it a bit more interesting <laughs> but it's on the course so I guess I have to cover it really so now we're just gonna say just try and decide what is the most appropriate measurement for these things. First of all, millimetres are the smallest and kilometres are the biggest. And then these two have actually put the other way around. These are litres are the biggest, then centiliters and millilitres. And the same for the weight. So Millimetres are used for measuring very small lengths and centimetres might be appropriate for like the length of this pen for example or the length, the height of this board and metres would be used for bigger things like maybe the height of a house or kilometres would be used for you know much longer scales like maybe the length of a road or something a long motorway or something like that. So, and same thing really for the litres, centiliters and millilitres. Litres are for much um, bigger amounts. It's mostly how much water or liquid something can hold. So bigger like tanks you could say would be litres and then tiny little things would be millilitres. And for your weights 
tons would be things that are very, very heavy. And then kilograms would be things that aren't quite heavy, like... And then grams and milligrams are absolutely tiny. They no, don't actually weigh very much. So now let's do a few examples and see what's the appropriate um, measurement for these. And I'm just doing the metric for this um, video. We're going to go back to the um, other system later. So for the classroom, I'd say that probably meters is more appropriate because we know that centimeters, millimeters and centimeters are too small and kilometers are basically just too big. <laughs> so basically it's just common sense. Yes. Weight of a sack of potatoes, or will say maybe kilograms would be good for that. Kilograms would be a good um, measurement for that because that's roughly you know, if you weigh maybe it's about one or two kilograms a sack of potatoes. Something around that, so... So if you see grams and milligrams are too small, and tons is basically just too big, it's hardly like you're going to get a sack of potatoes that'll weigh a ton. And distance Edinburgh to London would be kilometres, because that's actually a long distance. Distance between two cities is a long way. Time to time it takes to travel from Earth to Mars. Well, travelling from Earth to Mars would take a long time, so no, it have to be years. I think if you knew that the distance to Mars was a long way and. It would be obvious that it would take a good few years to get the Mars. Time to run 400 metres. Well, to run 400 metres isn't actually too far, so you could basically just put seconds for that. If you can run really fast, you should possibly be able to do 400 metres in a few seconds. And then, if not, depending on your speed and how long it takes for you to run, it could be metres, minutes, I mean. And last one, liquid in a full cup of tea would be litres. L, like that, litres. Because millilitres and centiliters are very small. So, that's basically just an introduction to measurements. I know that was probably very boring, but it's on the course, so I guess we'll have to cover it. And next time we'll do about time and we'll um, also we'll learn about the two different systems and we'll learn about converting different measurements and get some actual numbers for all this stuff.